Hello everybody, welcome watching another tutorial. We have successfully completed and finished project with Karcher HD Professional Power Washer. It's uploaded on YouTube and this time we have new project. We will repair the Hobby Class Power Washer. Specifically, it's a Nilfisk C130.1 or it was sold as well as WAP by Nilfisk Aqua 1350. It's a great hobby power washer, great value for money. Why? It's got metal pump, very reliable. It's got induction motor, 10 kg heavy and really reliable, long life. And it's well built. It's made actually in China, but it's very well built and um, you can you can work with this it's i would say that it's not a hobby class machine i would say it's semi-professional why because you can fix it you can replace any part on this power washer you can get a spare parts and according to scheme or according to this video tutorial you can fix it uh, why we have focused on this machine because we have to fix pulsating it's actually eight years old power washer it's pulsating uh, we have to change the oil and we have to change well we don't have to but we will change groove drinks specifically oil seals and water seals it's a uh, one it, it's got 1.7 kilowatt induction motor 7.1 flow water flow rate per minute it's roughly 17 kg, 17.1 kg is heavy. But why I really like this machine and actually all these Neofisk hobby class machines with induction motor and with the metal pump that you cannot compare with them with other hobby brands of the power washer. It's really class on itself. Um, what should I tell you more? Well, as you can see, I will tell you some pros and cons of this power washer. Uh, actually, first I'll start with the cons. And as you can see, I got rid of the wheel for the high pressure hose because it was pretty much useless. The hose is not that flexible that you can easily roll it on the on this hose wheel. Hold hose wheel so i got rid of it and instead i assembled kind of a it looks like ears on one side you can store the electric cable and on the other side you can store the high pressure hose so in this first part what we will do we will disassemble whole machine we will set it apart i'll show you how to do it and then in another parts we will do things like uh, we will replace or change the start stop ventil we will change the oil and as i have mentioned we will replace groove drinks and uh, some o-rings and i'll show you why this power washer was pulsating. Small con or disadvantage of this machine that is that if you would like to get most of the time and most of the users who bought this great machine won't have to do it but it can happen after eight or ten years of service it can happen then you have to change for example the mentioned uh, star stop ventil or something like that so you have to get where the motor is and where the star to ventil is. And in this case, in this particular case of this power washer, we have to set apart the whole machine. But still, I can fully and uh, wholeheartedly, and uh, I can recommend this machine because it's a great machine. You cannot compare them, this machine with the Karcher Hobby power washers or with other brands. It, it's got really, good high pressure when it's cleaning and uh, you can get many accessories 
very various accessories for this. Uh, so that's what I like on this power washer. And I can show you how these accessories are stored. Hopefully we'll be able to see. It. So here you can maybe see the, the nozzles, two of them. Here is the gun and over here I have made an additional holder for 90 degrees nozzle. And maybe first I'll tell you a few things what can cause pulsating power washer. First of all, you have to check the hose. If the O-rings in the, in the ends are all right. If it's leaking, you should change them. Then you should check as well the wand or, or the pressure gun. Inside the wand there is kind of a plastic part inside uh, with the two small O-rings. And it's actually quite cheap spare part. It costs roughly four euro. And if you change it, it shouldn't be leaking anymore. So this, this way you can cross out of the line another thing that can cause pulsation. Then you should properly check whether the high pressure hose is connected as it should be. And if this, all of this is checked, then you should start to set apart the power washer and I'll show you how and look for other problems that can cause this problem. At the beginning I didn't mention a few important things, few pros of this machine. One of them is that uh, what, what's, what's the difference between the induction motor and the universal motor? That the uh, universal motor use most of the hobby, hobby brands, including some, some models of the Neofisk. Universal motor has usually limited lifetime. Induction motor doesn't have. The induction motor is brushless motor and it's, it's a long life motor. It's heavier. Usually these uh, power washer have 15, 17, 20 or more kgs compared to uh, power washer with the universal power washers with the universal motor. They, they are lighter. They got maybe six, seven, eight, ten 10 kgs. So they are lighter, but uh, you don't have to carry a power washer every day in your hands. So the 10 kg difference is, is, is not really a difference. It doesn't make any difference. It's got wheels, you can pull it behind you, so it's not a problem at all. Um, another thing that I didn't mention at the beginning is that uh, the maximum pressure of this power washer is 135 bars. But it's a really powerful, powerful machine and I can say that I can compare it with the many other brands of the hobby or professional power washer that I have already used. So, uh, I'll start now to set apart the power washer and first I start that I strip the machine of the all accessories. So first I'll take off the high pressure hose. Actually in this model it's six meter high pressure hose and the model 135 has got 80 meters. Uh, actually I would go for the eight meter ones or the power washer with minimum eight meter ones because it's better if you clean the car or power or, or something like that, so it's way better. Now I'll take out the nozzle from the back, nozzles, and the wand and pressure gun. Pressure gun. And as you can see, I've got longer electric cable, 8 meter ones. Normally they sell them with 5 or 4 meter, I don't exactly remember. And here you can see the holder. First of all, what you have to do, you have to take off this holder. And the way how to do it, that, that there are two buttons or knobs or whatever you call it. And you have to push them from both sides at 
at once. Like that. And on the other side as well. And as you can see, you can slide up a whole holder. The great advantage of this machine is that it's really good for storage. Like you have to store it somewhere in warm temperatures during winter. And it's really a compact, compact machine. And it doesn't take too much space to store it. Now you see how it looks. I can. And the next step is that there are two torque screws, T20, in the back, and one on the one side and another on the other side. So These four screws hold the back part, back plastic part of the power washer. And the next step, what you have to do is that you have to use a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, thin or the like, like one this. And you have to kind of a, you have to have a look how it looks there and use it, the screwdriver as a lever. And Pull the, the black part out, and the same you have to do on the other side. Just don't break the plastic. You have to find a way how to do it, and I will show you now how it looks. So you can see how it looks here, and on the other side as well. So this is the holder where you store the nozzles and the high pressure gun. The next step is that you have to take off the front cover. And the way how to do it is just you slide it or pull it up like that. And as you can see, it went nice and smoothly. And now I'll show you where these black plastic parts are holes that were you over here on this side. So now you know how to do it. Next step is that on the right side of the machine there you've got motor connected to electric box or whatever you call it. So take off this part and I hope you see there are cables connected to the motor from capacitator, from electric switch and so on. And now we have to take the pliers like this and simply pull, pull these connected cables out. On the remember on the left hand side you've got blue and brown cable connected. On the right hand side you've got two blue cables and then on the very right side you've got yellow and yellow mix cable mixed uh, yellow and green. So I'll just pull them out. It looks like this. There is only one way how you can connect it, so you don't have to bother. And the last one, that's it, it's disconnected, so it's okay now. You don't have to, you don't have to unscrew these two screws, they just hold the electric cable. 
only in case if you'd like to change for the longer electric cable or for the new one if it's broken or damaged or something like that. So as you can see, this cable uh, I mentioned, the blue and brown, is from the capacitator that helps machine when, it, when it's starting. Now, what we will do is that we will rotate machine like this and put it on this side. And we will unscrew the uh, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Hopefully you can see it. I'll, I'll move the machine a little bit. Six screws. And then we will get inside the body of the power washer. So we'll do it now. Some of the screws, for some of them, we have to use ordinary T20 torque screwdriver. Like that. For some of for other ones, this one. And there is a one specific screw, torque screw T20. And for this one, it's underneath at the bottom of the machine, underneath the wheel. If you would like to unscrew it, you have to use thin screwdriver T20 torque and go through the wheel or use it some other way if you have got something else. So let's do it. And now we have it. Now you, you just split the machine, the plastic part of the machine, into the two halves. You just release the capacitor, and as you can see, I've got this part out. Here is how it looks. You can see induction motor and here is the pump. So I will disconnect this part as well from the back and take out this plastic cover which defends the engine against the splashing water. And this, this part, which is at the top of the induction motor, there is a specific plastic part and you have to know how to take it out and how to install it back. So just be careful when you are trying to detach it, don't break it. It looks like this. It's a plastic one. And it, it holds on the, for three points I think. One is a little knob on the on this side here. Another is here. And the third one is here. So it has to be 
When you install it back, it has to fit nice and smoothly. Be careful when you install it. And when you install it, the, remember that the, this rotation part has to rotate freely when you do that. So I'll just put it aside. And now we can safely take out the induction motor. But before we do it, first we have to uh, detach or detach the part where which is connected to the start of the wheel. Hopefully you will see it. So here is this switch, the micro switch, and you, you have to use the flat screwdriver to disconnect it. Gently, carefully. That's it. I, I got it. So the micro switch is disconnected. And now I can safely pull out the induction motor. Can you see it? It's a massive, it's 10 kg. It's a really reliable, powerful, long life motor with the metal pump. You cannot compare it. You cannot compare this motor with the motor in the Nilfisk 110 or 120. There are small, very small motors, universal motors with limited life. Not to mention the Karcher Hobby class ones like K2 or K3 or something like that. So, as you can see, we have set apart the whole machine. And in the next video, we will maybe change or replace the start-stop ventil, which is here. Or I'll show you how to do it. And then in the following, we will detach the metal pump and replace groove drinks, oil seals, water seals. Here are the ventils, but we won't replace them because they are all right. So, That's all what I wanted to tell you in this first part. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I would like to thank you for watching and have a nice day. Good luck.